In order to type the international symbols for Spanish, for German, and for French, you're going to need to change your keyboard settings on your Chromebook. In order to change your keyboard settings, you're going to click in this area, click Settings, and somewhere in this screen you're going to find keyboard settings. If you can't find it, you may have to hit Show Advanced Settings. Once you find that, we're going to click on Choose Language and Input Settings. You most likely do not have any of these checked. You probably only have U.S. Keyboard. U.S. International Keyboard you need to have available to you if you want to do German and Spanish and most of the French characters. U.S. Extended as well if you want to do French. In this area is where you can add specific languages. But I find in Spanish, at least in German, all of the symbols are available in U.S. International. Some of the French symbols are a little bit more difficult, so you might want to switch to a French keyboard altogether. Once we're done with that, down here we're in U.S. Keyboard. We can easily toggle back and forth by going into this menu again and hitting U.S. International. Another way to go back and forth between keyboards is to hit Alt, Shift, and as you can see, Alt Shift is changing my keyboards down here in the lower right hand corner. If someone were to type Jeff's book in the international keyboard, the apostrophe S is going to give probably a different international symbol. So you can tell your students that as soon as class is over, they can toggle back to the US keyboard so that way their typing in other classes in English isn't being affected. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know.